From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Health Minister Wells says he believes we need to get 120,000 persons vaccinated to achieve herd immunity against the coronavirus. And following the latest exercise in the islands last week, they're getting closer to that number. More than 90,000 persons now have at least the first shot. More than 30,000 persons are now fully vaccinated, and the effort continues by registration and by walk-up. The government has announced a number of restriction changes, especially for fully vaccinated persons. But the president of the doctors' union, Dr. Pinder Butler, warning about the new Delta variant getting into the country. She's suggesting that they take another look at the rules in place for fully vaccinated people entering the country. I appreciate that people need to work. People need to eat. It is a difficult balance between health and socioeconomic. But I think we just have to be careful because certainly once we're, we have it in and we're still moving around every day and we don't have the measures that are in place that are needed to identify um, these cases, we're not um, doing proper surveillance, anything could happen. And we all know from what we've seen that in a matter of minutes, things can change. So far, there's no indication that the Delta variant is in the Bahamas. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Making progress, but there's still plenty of corona-related work for healthcare workers. Still more than 600 active cases to deal with, including 76 reported for the three-day period ending Saturday, most of them in the capital. 36 of those cases are hospitalized with four in the ICU. PLP leader Davis says if his party wins the next elections and the health visa in place now is still there, they'll scrap it. He says it's an unnecessary additional financial burden that people don't need right now. Police in the capital investigating three murders from the weekend, including two at the same address in the Grove area, two men and a woman, the latest victims. Ron Bahama police looking into a stabbing incident that has left a man in hospital with multiple wounds. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune 242. Dot com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Mostly cloudy tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 77 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 80 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable, the seas 3 feet or less. Low tide now, the next high around midnight. Tuesday's forecast, mostly cloudy, highs in the upper 80s. Showers are likely. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Biggest and best. World news headlines increasing concern about the spread of the Delta variant of the coronavirus around the world. Australia has an outbreak and they put lockdowns in place for Sydney and Darwin. The World Health Organization says this variant is now in close to 100 countries and could be the next problem down the road. Search and rescue efforts continue at that top old condo in Florida. The death toll increasing and more than 150 persons are still not accounted for. Officials say they believe they're running out of time to find more persons alive, but they remain hopeful. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's soccer on TV. That major international tournament in Europe is now heading to the final stages, and you'll see the matches on TV tonight. The Andre Aiden and the Suns can punch their ticket to the NBA Finals with a win over the Clippers tonight, and that's going to be on TV. Jazz and the Marlins off tonight in Major League Baseball. They're on their way to Philadelphia to start a series there tomorrow night. John Quell not back in the Sun lineup yet in the WNBA after taking some time off and playing in Europe. They play again tomorrow night in Washington. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports.
And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.